challenging when you have no symptoms of PAD, but you actually do have PAD. So what happens? In those patients, unfortunately, you if you do not identify that they have peripheral arterial disease, you're going to miss a great opportunity to engage with that patient to improve their lifestyle. They may not mm -hmm. be very active. Number two, to prevent all their problems. Right. You, you lose the opportunity to prevent heart disease. You prevent opportunity to prevent stroke, improve the patient's mortality by really aggressively modifying the risk factors that can cause all these other comorbid conditions. Because I think that's exactly the point we want to drive home, and I think that's something that you had mentioned, Dr. Fernandez, is that just because it's PAD, it's something treating the leg, what we're really trying to avoid is issues everywhere in the body, as in our heart, preventing a stroke, correct? That is correct. It's the associated comorbid conditions, heart disease, uh, neurologic disease or strokes, that that's really is what, what's going to determine how that patient is going to be doing over the long term, so, not so much the legs. So we have, you talked to us a little bit about the patients that have no symptoms, but now what are some of the typical symptoms of PAD? The, the typical symptom, again, is that intermittent claudication with disgust. Patient goes for a walk, mm -hmm. he or she cannot reach a block, they have to stop halfway through in the time that they're walking. Right. They stop, they stand there, the pain goes away, and then they start again. That is your very typical book description of the patient with intermittent claudication or peripheral arterial disease. Again, that's only a minority. A minority. People describe it in many different ways. As we get older, we believe that leg pains are something that we're supposed to experience. So we may not, the patient may not even bring it up to the doctor's attention. They may so, chalk it up, but oh, we're getting uh, old. I'm getting older, I'm okay to have leg pain. So you know what, I'll just sit here and avoid it. Mm -hmm. So we actually have those patients sit down, they become even more sedentary, and that just perpetuates a whole uh, cycle.